It's the reason we continue with that ABC 7 First Alert. Still very strong and gusty out there. Maybe your place winds haven't been quite as strong, but I mean, we've been looking at 40, 50 mile an hour gusts. And look at this, some instability. So we are tracking some rain. And some of this, you can see some of the yellows, uh, that is indicative of some heavier pockets of rainfall. There's Mesquite right along Interstate 10 from, uh, say, Four Points southbound down to Barino there. Uh, most of this generally maybe some light rain. This is where it gets a little bit heavier, just south of the Boyd area. And as we kind of expand things out and put a little track on it, uh, as this continues to move to the southeast, here's some of your time frames being adjusted here with all the new data coming in, the Doppler radar data. But again, we are somewhat unstable, not greatly unstable. This is just going to be a rain event, blowing rain uh, as well. But it's all tracking in a southeasterly direction. Even up in the Sacramento Mountains, notice a little specks of some blue here. Uh, you get around 7,000, 7,500 feet, uh, maybe 8,000 feet. We could see some light snow mixed in with some of the rain right around Alamogordo and uh, Tularosa. Of course, just going to be a rain event there. Uh, we do have a, just a slight chance. Maybe some of our eastern areas could pick up a sprinkle or some light rain. So we'll keep that in the forecast. Look at the wind gusts. We're 40, Las Cruces, 39 here in town, 38 for you folks out there in Deming. The wind's coming at us out of the west and northwest. The winds are going to continue up until late tonight. Here's a look at our future track wind gust tracker. And you notice 9 o'clock, these are the wind speeds that we're going to be dealing with out there, at least the wind gusts. And once we head into tomorrow morning, that's when the winds will settle down uh, by 6 o'clock. Notice the wind's not going to be much of an issue. 8 o'clock, we have Blue Origin out there just uh, in around the Van Horn area, which is going to take off. Looks like the weather conditions should be okay for the flight. Of course, they have a lot of parameters they need to meet, which they don't share with us. But as far as the winds, wind shouldn't be all that bad out there. Notice 20 gusts, then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday, the winds will pick up in the breezy category at 25. Then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, as it looks right now, low to moderate windy conditions with those gusts anywhere from 30 to 35 miles per hour. All right, let's talk about your forecast. Tomorrow, much nicer day. The first alert will not be in place tomorrow. 73. Notice 80 on Friday. Going to be a beautiful day Friday. Saturday looking good, whatever your outdoor activities. Realize on Sunday, though, the winds will pick up a little bit. In the breezy category with those gusts to 25. And then here comes the stronger winds Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Doesn't appear we're going to be talking about any rain chances. And temperatures going to be in the low to mid-80s. We'll take a break, and sports is next.